Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie. Look at my hair. It's actually growing in again. Um, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to make snowballs. Yes, I'm finally replacing the original video. Now I'm making a triple recipe. So if you want just a small recipe, cut this down by a third, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what you would need for a single recipe, but I am making a triple recipe. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a quarter pound of butter, one cup of flour, one cup of pecans, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of sugar. Now, first things first, your butter has to be room temperature. And you go ahead and add the sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. This is going to be three teaspoons because, again, it's a triple recipe. And we're going to cream this all together. You're going to need a couple of pounds of icing sugar because we put so little sugar in this because it's getting rolled in sugar. And you really want these small. All right. Let's move on with our, start working in our three cups of flour. And then we're going to use our hands, folks, because that's the only way to do this. Let's get the nuts in there and let's get busy. And we're just going to, I wanted to get the flour in with the butter a little bit first or it gets all over your hands. So we're going to work this into a stiff dough. And then we'll go from there. Now this recipe goes back for as long as I can remember. It comes from the Ogilvy cookbook that my parents got in the 1950s yeah. when they bought a new stove. They gave them a cookbook with it. And although somebody else in my family inherited that cookbook or asked for it when, when it came time to divide things up, I got my copy, uh, I got a copy online on eBay uh, a few years back and and I I just it had the original wrapper on it okay so I just covered the wrapper with um, packing tape now we're gonna roll these into balls about the size of a marble just a small one because when you do do these in the icing sugar, they double in size because they melt and soak up a lot of icing sugar. So anyway, folks, now that everybody who's been with me for, you know, since the beginning, remembers the story of Briar and the snowballs. Now the last video I made, I actually got out a strong box and lined it in wax paper and locked these up in the freezer. Why? Because they're so darn good that Briar used to steal them, okay? And the last time I made these on camera, Briar was living at home. One year, and if I can remember, if I can find the pictures, I'll add them into this video. One year, I made a whole bunch of little boxes and tins mm -hmm. and mailed them out to my family. I had little tins of uh, Taylors of Harrogate English breakfast tea and small personal sized little fruit cakes and snowballs and little packages of five or six snowballs and, and shortbread and gingerbread cookies all in a little cookie tin or Christmas box and I mailed them out to my family. So when I got all my baking done, um, this was the year at Burnside, the Christmas at Burnside, yeah. mm -hmm. when I got all my baking done, I put together all these parcels. I went out and bought the, the tins and the boxes and packing tape and all that stuff. And I packed the boxes and the tins and I taped them shut with packing tape and put them in my freezer until I was ready to mail them out. And when I went to mail them out, I noticed on one of them, the tape had been resealed. 
And there was eight of these. Eight or ten of them I mailed yeah. out. I yeah, mailed I them out to Prince Edward yeah. Island. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I opened it, and the snowballs were missing. So, of course, I'm not going to let that go. I opened every single one of them, and in every single tin, Briar had taken out and eaten all the snowballs, and then reclosed the tin and retaped them, thinking no one would notice. So that is why you may want a strong box lined in wax paper for your freezer for these cookie balls. Because I'll tell you something, one year uh, when I worked at the bakery, I tried them out on my boss and he gave me permission to make a whack of them. And all I did was I weighed the cookie balls, which we don't do at home. I weighed all the cookie balls and I made them out and I let, and I bagged them up and I put them in their own display and I kept a plate of them out on the top of the service counter at the bakery and when anyone would ask, oh, what are these? They'd look at the bags of snowballs and I said, here, try one. And it never failed that I sold a bag with everyone who ate a snowball. As you can see, Nan has done an amazing job on our snowballs. So these are going into a 325 degree oven for 25 minutes. Now remember folks, these do not brown in the baking. They just go a little golden on the bottom. All right, so we'll see you when these come into the oven. And I'm just gonna pick up my parchment. I'm just gonna very carefully dump these in the icing sugar, just like that. And now, we just sit here and we do this. And it's probably shaking the camera. And we pour the rest on top. And you want these buried in icing sugar. Don't worry if you see a lot of icing sugar. It's on sale at this time of year. And you can always sift it and use it in your other recipes. For instance, again, Briar has asked again for his uh, pumpkin spice roll cake with the cream cheese filling. So that's probably what this icing sugar will be used in. Wear a dust mask, folks. This can get pretty crazy. This is my single most requested cookie on the in the holiday season. All right, we're just going to let them sit, and we're going to shake them occasionally until they're cooled down. So there's Mom's snowballs for her tea. Papa's not home, and we're not going to let him know we made these today, are we, Mom? No. They won't. They won't last till Christmas. No. All right. So, Mom, she's never been here when I've made these before. No. Watch it. They explode oh. in your mouth. Oh, delicious! There you go. There you go. Hey, I'm covered in icing sugar right <laughs> up to my nose. <laughs> this is the Miss Avolfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying these have a lot of history you can't have christmas in this house without them snowballs mm -hmm. simple fun make them with your kids take care god bless